Hello, hello, hello. What is up? This is a fun video. I'm excited to record it today. How is everyone doing? If you're new to my channel, welcome. Nice to meet you. My name's Kyle. We talk about all things Bravo, all things Real Housewives, and all things pop culture. We got a fun video planned for today. We're going to toot and boot some Real Housewives of Beverly Hills looks. We're going to talk about all of their confessionals for the new season and all of their intro cards. I am so excited. Tudor boots are really my favorite and Beverly Hills just delivers on all of the fashion. And there were definitely some hits and there were some misses. And we're gonna talk about all of it today. Before we get into that, I want to say this. The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills premiere was better than the Roni premiere. There, I said it. I'm also really not loving Roni this season. Should I make a whole separate video of why I'm not loving Roni? Let me know in the comment section below. But that's not why y'all are here. You're here because you're Beverly Hills lovers and have high hopes for the new season. And we're gonna toot or boot some looks. So let's start with the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills confessional looks. Some toots or boots. Let's start with the new housewife, Crystal Kung Minkoff. She is rocking some emerald green. Again, shoulder pads must be in. I actually, I kind of like the simplicity of this look. It's not over the top. Also, I will say this about Beverly Hills. I like that they film their confessionals in their houses and they don't use fake backdrops because some of the backdrops that Bravo uses are clearly fake and you can tell. So I can tell that this is shot in Crystal's house. I like it. It's a toot for me. Next, let's talk about the queen of fashion and it's not Erica. Dorit. This is like a work of art. I think she has some sort of, what's that? Some sort of Louvre painting on her dress. I mean, it's literally a work of art on her dress. I don't, she looks like a goddess. The piece in her hair, it looks like something like a Greek goddess would wear. Again, the backdrop, it looks like it's actually filmed in her house. Not mad at it. Not mad at it, Dorit. It's a toot for me. I really like it, okay? I really like it. And I know some people are be like, Ugh, it's gross. No, it's so on brand for Dorit. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Thank you very much. Let's talk about the con artist. Erica Jane, Erica Girardi. Erica stole everybody's money and using it for all of her clothes. Oh, Jesus Christ on a cracker. I don't like this look at all. I don't like the blazer. I don't like... The buttons on the blazer, the blazer is ill-fitting. I don't like the pocket square. I don't like the hair. This is what happens when you lose all of your money and your glam runs away from you. This is what happens when you piss off the gaze. It's not filmed in front of a backdrop though. This is actually her house. You can tell because it's so dark. You can, uh, that, I mean, you know that hallway. I've seen that hallway before. It's filmed in front of her house. <sighs> I don't like this look. It's not good. The makeup is, she looks, those earrings, are they clip-ins? Are they clip-ins? They're clip-ins. What is this? You look like a slut from the 80s. I don't like it. It's a boot for me. Let's talk about Garcelle. Now this is how you rock a suit. This is how you rock a blazer. I love it. I love it. It is giving me Janet Jackson vibes. It is giving me Rhythm Nation vibes. It is giving me Velvet Rope Tour vibes. If you know, you know where my Janet Jackson fans at. Right here. Again, not filmed in front of a backdrop. This is actually filmed in Garcelle's home. Did I call her Giselle at first? I am so sorry, Garcelle. I did not mean to do you dirty like that. Garcelle, love the look. I love the shoulder pads. I love the blazer. I love, it's very androgynous. And I 
am here for every freaking second of it. I zoomed in on the earrings. Those are some earrings. Henny, you better work. She understood the assignment. It is a toot, toot, toot for me, Garcelle. I love it so much. Next up, <sighs> Kathy Hilton. I, <laughs> I love Kathy Hilton. This is, this is great. Kathy Hilton is one of the best additions to the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Seriously, I want her to have a diamond next season. I love the top, I love the little bow. I like the colors, the goldenrod, the royal blue, the pink. I like the blouse, I love the hair, I love the makeup. It's Kathy Hilton. You can't do any wrong with her. She's great. This is a toot for me, honey. This is a toot. Next up, Kyle Richards. I mean, it's essentially the same dress as Crystal's. Hers is just a mauve. Mauve, pink, purpley pink, it's a mauve. I'm gonna go with mauve. I think that's what color that is. I don't hate it. And in true Kyle fashion, she's rocking a high ponytail. She can rock a high pony. Again, this is not filmed in front of a backdrop, actually filmed in her house. It's not bad. It's really not bad. These ladies though, over in Beverly Hills, they know how to deliver some looks. They understand the assignment, okay? They get what's happening. It's a toot for me. It is a little ordinary, but I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at the look, Kyle. You're gorgeous, Kyle, you get it, all right? You could wear a garbage bag and still look cute. It's a toot. Also, Kyle is the only one that had two confessionals during this premiere, so let's go ahead and look at her second confessional look. Rockin' a puffy sleeve, cheetah. I kinda like her first confessional look better, I'm not gonna lie. The first confessional look was a lot better than the second confessional look. I think the cheetah print is a little overkill. I'm not really a fan of the puffy sleeve, and I'm not really a fan of the hair. I wish she would have kept the high pony. So I'm gonna actually, I'm gonna boot this confessional. Her first one was a toot. This one though, it's definitely a boot for sure. I'm really not a fan of it, especially comparing it to her first one. Let's talk about Miss Big Lips, Lisa Rinna. So she's rocking some some leather. This is giving me very dominatrix vibes. Again, we've got a puffy sleeve. We're rocking a lot of cleavage. I do like that she is switching up her hair. I like it. Many of you may be like, oh, keep the Lisa Rinna hair. No, I like that she is experimenting with new hairstyles. I kind of am here for it. I'm all about a good wig. This is probably a wig. I like it. I really do. I think this is a look. It, it, she's delivering something different. It's something I've never seen Lisa Rinna in something like this. So I'm gonna give it a toot for stepping outside of your comfort zone. I appreciate that. Also not filmed in front of a backdrop. That's actually her house. Next, we've got Miss Sutton. Those are goddamn pussycats on her freaking dress. Is that a dress or is it a top? I'm really not sure. I'm gonna toot it though. She's a cat lady. I'm a cat lady. We get each other. We see each other. Where are my fellow cat lovers at? I'm right here. I love it. It's so silly. It's so fucking stupid. But you can't help not to love it. It is a look. It's a risk, but she took a chance and I think it paid off. Sutton, the pussy look, it's a toot for me. I like it. So those are all of the confessionals for the season premiere of The Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. I'm a little parched. Let me, let me take a swig of my coffee. Now we're gonna get into their brand new intro cards and we're gonna tutor boot some intro cards. I'm just getting myself comfortable over here, guys. That is a fuzz. Let's talk about Miss Crystal. I love this look so much. I am all about a high freaking slit. 
straight up to the puss. I love this look. That deep maroon color is perfect on her. I think she looks fabulous. Honey, you better slay. It's a toot for me. It's a toot. Next, Miss Dorit, queen of fashion. The, the one sleeve short dress. Mm. I do like the, the embellishment pattern of it. I like the mock neck. I'm not gonna lie, the one sleeve is throwing me off. That weird bare arm. I mean, her arm though looks jacked. Like, whatever arm exercise Dorit is doing, hit me up, girlfriend. I need to know. You got some Michelle Obama arms, and I'm here for it. But overall, the bare arm, and then the other arm with the sleeve, it's really throwing me off, and I have to give it a boot. Next, Erica, she looks like I'm a fucking cock destroyer. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. Um, I don't know. It's also when they went to, where was it, Sweden? Was it Sweden or Holland? When Erica was in the latex and almost got hit by the bike? Yeah, it's giving me, it's giving me those type of vibes. She looks so fucking plastic, but also... Are those shorts or is that a skirt? I don't know. I don't hate it. Oh, I know. I'm so ashamed. I don't hate this look. I don't hate this intro card. I actually, I'm gonna give it a toot. I know, I know. She's a piece of garbage, but I'm really, I'm really loving this look. It's a toot for me. Moving on, but moving on before I get dragged. Let's talk about Garcelle. Easy breezy beautiful cover girl. I like this look. It's a toot. 100% a toot. The floral, the hair. She just looks very, it's casual but in a glamorous way. She just looks like a cool girl. She looks cool in this intro card. I really, really like it. It's colorful. It's playful. It's sassy. It's saying that I'm still a boss, but I can take myself really seriously. Like, I'm ready for a Sunday picnic in the park. It is a toot for me, Garcelle. Mwah. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Next up, Kyle. Rocking some yellow. Or is it gold? I'm not really sure. The bow in the front is throwing me off. Uh, I don't think the dress fits her very well. I think there's a lot of excess fabric that shouldn't really be there. It's gonna be a boot for me. I don't really enjoy this look. Also, yellow is not a color that everybody should attempt to rock. Not many people can rock it. And I'm sorry, Kyle, yellow is not your color. So just, if you have anything yellow in your closet, just dispose of it now. Donate it to a Goodwill, okay? Let's talk about Lisa Rinna in the, in the blue. The hair is giving me like genie vibes, all about genie. I don't know about this look. It's not my favorite. I think the color looks good on her. I don't like the hair. It's giving me genie vibes, like I dream of genie. I'm gonna give it a boot. I'm not a fan of it. Moving on, last but not least, let's talk about Sutton's intro card. I mean, it's definitely boho chic. I mean, it's on brand for Sutton. That is who Sutton is. I love that Sutton has an intro card. I love that Sutton has a confessional. I love that Sutton has a diamond. It is well freaking deserved. She worked her ass off to get that diamond. I'm just not a fan of this intro card. Yes, it's on brand for Sutton, but it just is a little, it's a little boring for me. It's a little boring. And for that reason, I'm going to give it a boot. She could have taken it to the next level and she didn't. Those were the toots and the boots for the Real Housewives of Beverly Hills season premiere confessional looks and intro cards. What did y'all think? Let me know in the comment section below guys who you would toot and who you would boot. That's all I've got for you guys today. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you like this video. And if you want more videos like this, let me know. And I will chat with you guys in the next one. All right, I'm out, guys. Bye.